Hello and a very warm welcome to Soro Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on economics. In case of any query, you can contact us on this number. And if you wish to know more about us, do check in our website. Now today's tutorial will be very simple. We will be talking about rational decision making. Now some of you must be wondering why again this word rational is there in the tutorial. Okay. So the questions to our why and what why it is there in all the tutorials, all the textbook, what this word actually means and why. So the question is what? What is rational? What do we mean by rational and why it is so important that in every economic books or in every tutorial, okay, based on reasoning, etc., we hear this word rational. So, let me help you guys. So, rational, if I want to keep it very simple, means logical. So, if a person will be logical, he will be rational. So, today's tutorial will be on rational decision making. That means we need to identify as to how a person or an individual will take logical decisions. So, there are four steps to it. Let us see what are they. So, we will mention here four steps. Okay. For taking rational, for make, for rational decision making. Now first is that the decision maker, so the first step for being lo a logical decision maker is that the decision taker sets out all the feasible alternatives. So he will consider all the feasible alternatives. Now, what are feasible? Feasible means all those options that are attainable to him. And alternative means options. So, he will take into consideration all the attainable options. Okay. Why the question is of attainable? Because th there is generally a budget constraint. So, it is not that when you go to the market, you can buy whatever you want to. You have to take you have to check in your purse or your wallet. That means you have to keep a check on your income, your budget. Because you cannot go out, you cannot buy, end up buying something else which is not affordable, okay, given your budget. So you are all, always you take into consideration your budget generally. So whatever is feasible. Alternative, you will take into consideration all. Now, the next step is that he, the individual actually take into consideration all available information. So, information with regard to the prices of the commodity. If you are going to buy a shirt, say, from the market, then you will take into consideration what are the different offers, what are the different prices, okay, price of the shirt, price of other commodities, that if not shirt, let me buy a pant, so price of other commodities, okay, your taste, your preference, etc. So, you will take all the available information in order to assess the consequences of choosing each of the alternatives. Okay, so if you end up choosing a blue shirt, it may happen that a very party wear shirt, say you end up choosing. So you cannot wear it daily for your college, for college. Okay, it's not a daily wear. It won't be a daily wear. And so you can wear it only on the occasions. And so you may not like it because it is very costly and you wear it, you know annually or something whenever there is a big function in your family so you will take into consideration all the consequences that will happen in with respect to your given action okay so if you choose bundle a what will be the consequences if you choose bundle b what will be the consequences 
now in light of their consequences you will start ranking the different options okay and you will rank the different alternatives based on your preferences okay what you like what you don't like etc and given the ranking after the ranking is done you will choose the alternative or the commodity with highest ordering okay that means the alternative with the consequences the individual prefer over all others available to him so over all others available to him so what you do first you take into consideration all the feasible alternatives then you take into consideration all the information given to you and you look what will be the consequences given your action you rank the alternatives based on your preferences and then choose the alternative with the highest ordering if all these four points are satisfied then the person is said to be rational or logical if any one of the point or step is missed by the person then he will no he will no longer act as a rational person okay he will be irrational so i hope this short tutorial on rationality was helpful if it was please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching